Muthead.com. Welcome back to Zan's Corner. This week on the show, we are going to talk about my favorite goal line run in Madden 18, which is the Power G. Now, this is the I-Form wing formation. This is also known as the I-Form twin tight end, uh, and this is in the Eagles playbook. However, this run exists in a ton of playbooks. We're talking too many to name, um, and it could be in the I-Form wing formation. It could be in your goal line formation. So check your playbook to see if either your formation is or the the play is in the goal line or the i form wing um chances are if you have those formations one of those is probably going to have it although there are some playbooks in the game that do not have this run that being said this run is so good that you might want to consider switching your offense to a playbook that has this especially if you struggle getting the ball in the end zone inside the five yard line now the cool thing about the power g is that this is essentially a power o but if you take a look you can see that this guard was is the pulling guard uh, and then this guy the tackle Vitai is going to be the guy that you're going to read on this run to read his blocking angle and decide whether or not you're going to stay inside or outside now this is different than a true power O. so if you were to look at a power O, your backside guard brooks is the one who pulls out on this play and it's not that a, a power O isn't a good run you could still convert touchdowns with a power O. I just feel like with the front side pulling guard and a a lot of players have a habit of wanting to shoot the weak side gap to try to tackle a ball carrier from behind that this run serves a better purpose when you're reading the front side guard rather than the the backside guard. It also makes targeting of the pulling guard a lot easier because he's closer to the actual direction of the run. He's not coming from the backside of the play. So the way that I like to run work this run and read this run is I'm going to read this this tackle that is next to the pulling guard and what you ideally want to do is read his block and if you could just use him as your point of focus uh, you can see he if he goes inside stay inside you're always going to try to stay inside of your fullback though because your fullback is your kick out player he's going to be the one who goes to the edge he's going to be the one that leads up into the b gap and tries to take on any incoming fill player in this play and you can see right there he goes and meets the free safety earl thomas and allows us to stay inside that block for a touchdown. Now, there's a number of different fronts in the game, and of course, quarters right here, probably not the best to to run against. This is on random here, so we're gonna see probably a few weird looks. But what you're gonna find is that this run, even when they stack that side of the run, if you just read this tackles block, you know exactly where you wanna go. And the really cool thing about this is that the guard and the fullback just kind of create this little convoy that makes it very, very tough to to stop and a lot of those cover four defenses where the safeties come down into the run fit they're going to get picked up by either the fullback or the pulling guard you can see right there that somebody's going to go get the outside force player and somebody's going to go get one of the alley defenders and allow this to be a very successful run for you so you can see right here that this gets soft box pretty easily you saw right there that looked like a nickel front um, and this formation just mauls it with the heavy personnel. So they're not going to be able to run nickel against you without the risk of getting pancaked. Um, and then when they're down in those 4D line sets, as you can see right here, this is a 4-3 over flip. This is over plus. And you've got guys man on man right here. You can still read. You know that this pulling guard is going to vacate. So you have to read the block of the tackle. He's probably going to block down on that player that's in front of Wisniewski, which makes this a pretty easy read. So you can see right here, you just are going to follow your blockers pretty easily. So again, we'll go ahead and look at the replay. There's a number of different fronts that you could look at, and it's going to be impossible for me to address all of them in this in this video. But you can see right here with the, the pulling left guard, if I could get the, the cursor on him here, uh, we look at him. He vacates, so that tackle is going to block down, and this just creates an easy blocking angle for everybody else on the play. You're basically just going to hug this run very, very tight to your fullback. You don't want to get too far away from him. Uh, you're just basically, like I said, I don't want to sound like a broken record. You want to read this block and hug your fullback. It's it's that simple. If he blocks down, hug your fullback to the inside. Uh, and this is going to be one of the harder runs in the game to stop from getting positive yardage. So if you put yourself in a situation where you're first and goal from the four, you're going to be able to run this run four times and probably get into the end zone. Again, you can see right here, very, very easy. You're just going to follow your fullback. It's, it's that simple. And as long as you don't try to bounce this run outside, this is one of the tougher inside hitting runs in the game to really uh, to get a stop. And you can see the, the Eagles are a very good team. The Seahawks, again, one of the best block shedding teams in Madden. You're not seeing any block sheds when I run this play. Um, guys are just basically 
uh, a convoy. So definitely need to check this out. I think this is easily the best goal line run in the game. The nice thing about the Eagles book while I'm at it is that there's a number of gadget runs that you can go with in this game. Um, the Eagles also have a wide receiver quick. So if you guys take a look at the Eagles book, uh, you can see right here if I wanted to, I could come out in the wide receiver quick. That gives us another nice little play to run down the goal line. If you're struggling to get the power G running, you could always go to this wide receiver quick and try to use that for a nice little uh, gadget play as well. So appreciate the support. Make sure you guys lab up these runs. This is the Eagles playbook. But just to name a few, I'll go through my playbook database here. You could run the power G out of the Lions, the Panthers, the Raiders, the Rams. Uh, the Rams have it in both the wing and the goal line. You could run it from the Redskins. Uh, the Redskins also have both. Titans have this run in both formations. Vikings have it in both formations. The Bengals have it. Broncos, Browns, Bucks, Chargers, Chiefs, Cowboys, and then the Eagles. So number of playbooks for you guys to look at. Too many to name, but I just named them all for you anyways. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And until next week, this is Zan, get in the lab, and good luck.